Lord Digby Jones, it's good to see you. Thanks for having me, Clive. We're going to talk about customer service and the fact that social media has given voice to so many members of the public now to be able to get across their views on how well a company or a business is doing. People will, I think, get to the point where they'll understand they pay a bit more money mm. to be treated like a human being. To be treated like a human being and to feel like you are you valued matter. You matter. and you matter. Yeah. So feelings are important. They're hugely important. And the, and the problem with social media is it's such a divisive polemic that for all of the benefits that it brings, and we know it does, it connects granny with grandson and, and smaller businesses can market their products in a way they never could before universally, which is an excellent thing. And, it, and the, the worst thing, the horrible thing, is that if, if I'm talking to you, Clive, if I say something that's nice about you, your eyes will open, your mouth will open, your body will open, and we start having bilateral intercourse. If on the other hand I say nasty things about you, your eyes will narrow, your mouth will go down, <laughs> you put your hands across like this, and I'm getting signs of, I better shut up because this is annoying him. That is a typical ordinary between two human beings, social intercourse that's gone on for thousands of years. So that's why your call is awfully important to me, but I'm going to keep you waiting 45 minutes because I'm going to have a call centre that isn't properly staffed. And when it is staffed, it's going to be staffed by people from another country who don't even know where the town is that you're living in and frankly don't care either. So on that basis, yes, you've saved money, but your service level is a pathetically bad. And if you look at everybody from banks through to mobile phone companies, through to electricity providers, the call centre is a nightmare. And I've got to the point where I'm actually prepared to pay a provider more money if only I can talk to a human being. And that is a real, real problem because the only way you really can do it is human beings. And we have three problems militating against human beings. They are expensive. Secondly, they're even more expensive in the places where the people are who want to use the service. Which is why we know that a, a call centre in Vietnam is going to be cheaper to run than a call centre in the middle of Birmingham. And it doesn't mean the quality is better or anything else, it's just cheaper. Mm. So you have that problem, because the person in Vietnam, bless them, they'll be really good, very prompt, work hard, but they haven't got a clue where Birmingham is. And they don't understand what the weather's like yesterday. And all of those sorts of human being, let's talk to each other ideas. The second big problem is that you can use social media to go back to the people. Mm. who are problematic. Go back to the people. Sing your successes. Talk about wh why you're doing it differently. Use it as, an, in the true sense of the word, an advertising medium. You talk about this, this sort of uh, two-way relationship, which is important between the business and the customer. So customer feedback platforms, FIFO, Trustpilot, yeah. Yeah. they're an attempt to do that, yes. aren't they? No, Multiple can... questions and, and so on, to try to get some kind of dialogue going between the customer in understanding what the services you're providing and for the business to understand how the customer really feels about the service that they've just used. And it's in a managed environment. Yeah. I think that's the big thing. They are using the, the good that can come out of these inventions in a way that the provider of the, cons of the consumer service can, from which they can learn. Mm. And, and things that they can test things with. They can mm -hmm. say, would it be better if we were doing this? Yeah. And, and people can, uh, can have their um, nine penneth and at the same time, of course, hopefully give some ideas and thoughts. When you're looking for a financial services company, a bank, a money lender, you have choice. You have loads of choice. And on that basis, one of the questions I would ask if I was choosing my uh, provider of those services would be, Am I going to talk to a human being? I acknowledge that from six at night till eight in the morning, I'm not, I, mm -hmm. I fully understand that. But you know, between, in working hours, am I, am I actually going to talk to a human being? And if I'm not, I'll go and find somebody who will. And I, I think that's a, an increasing requirement. And it's one that people will pay a little bit more for. Although, of course, eventually it'll become, well, I'm not paying anymore for that. That's what you should be doing. <laughs> well, at the moment, of course, it, it, it's a bit unusual. So if you find some, uh, an organisation that will say to you, I promise you'll talk to a human being, it is, in my view, it's worth a quarter percent on the interest rate. It's, it's less stressed, isn't it? 
And, and as we get a more angry society, more division, I, I, I wouldn't mind betting if somebody could do some enormous survey. One of the reasons is because you're asked to wait, as you just said, mm. press five, press three, wait for this. My call's important to these people. Wait for this, wait for this, another 45 minutes. That's one of the reasons they're angry. And the other reason they're angry is because they can't remember the password, which they have to give them at the end of the day. <laughs> and they're waiting, scrabbling around for the password. <laughs> now, those two things together, of course you're going to be angry. Whereas if actually there's somebody and saying, hi, hey, can I help you? And I'm here and um, I'm not going anywhere. And people are suddenly think, they care for me. And I, and I think it's a winning formula, but it's not cheap. You know, it's, it's human beings cost money. Machines don't. Well, Digby Jones, thank you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.